Folks, we are back with something a little crazy. Um, I never thought I would be back on this after being a year away at this point, and it was one of those things. I Last April, I bought myself a new desk. I disconnected how I had my wheels set up, and I set it to the side, and then life happened got distracted for a little bit, and then I just tried to even just upload something once a week for a long time. And it just occurred to me, it's been a year since we've done an American Truck Simulator, and there's still some of y'all out there watching this, so thank you very much. I'm glad there's people out there watching this, watching the playlist, everything. But we're going to start Season 2, and I'm not starting over. This is Road to a Billion. It's going to take... It might take more than one season, but now we have the Texas DLC. We have the Montana DLC. They've talked about um, Oklahoma now. They've talked about um, Kansas as well. So boom, boom. I'm assuming Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota are next, and they're just going to keep working their way this way. Um, this is also going to be kind of a test of some settings. So... Today, when I set up to do American Truck Simulator, I had so many, so many things. I plugged in my steering wheel for the first time, and it pulls up Logitech. And first of all, I forgot that it had a AC plug for the wall. So I was like, my wheel's not working. Well, I figured that one out. But it also messed up all of my settings for my mic. So we're trying some new settings and hopefully this works and maybe my voice might actually even be clearer now so we are in santa fe which i believe is where our home garage is um we have a trailer this is our kenworth that we bought at the very end of the series last there you can see the the trailer up there we got a reefer trailer and my whole goal is to let's get into let's go to texas now um, we're going to start here in Santa Fe. We're going to pick up Washington, Washington. Tyler, Texas is our highest paid one. That's pretty far. Tyler's on the other side. But that might actually give us a little bit of a peek of getting through Texas. Um, let's see. Junction, Texans, Texas. That's kind of down by the Houston area-ish. Uh, so far, Tyler's looking like the best one. Clovis, Clovis, Raton. Albuquerque. All right. Tyler, Texas it is. It is. Um, what is today? Monday at 6, 7. Okay. We have like 24 hours to do this job, which is fine. Um, we're going to grab this and let's play a game I haven't touched in forever. And let's check this out. So I don't even know how this is all set up. Uh, I'm going to be kind of watching my sounds on the side and see if they're a little... Oh, we got a... Ooh. That's really loud. So we're going to turn this down a little bit. Alright, so getting back into this game and checking it all out, it's always going to be an interesting concept. Still one day need to get a physical... Um, gear shifter to help with some of this stuff. But yeah, here we are. We gotta go pick up a trailer and we're gonna drive to Tyler. Might have to edit some of this out at the beginning. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, this feels so weird. Mostly because I haven't done this in forever. My trailer should be up here. In my fancy, fancy garage. 
But, um, you know what? We are definitely going to be buying a garage. Our next garage will be in Texas somewhere. Um, my home state. So, yeah. Did I already hit something? What did I hit? I don't know what I hit. Let's see. Trailer. Trailer manager. Use. Yes. It's like the trailer has been attached. Okay. I don't. Oh, I guess it was like behind the building or whatever. Gotta get used to all my controls again. I gotta get used to this truck again. Did my job go away? Watch that trailer. There we go. Hopefully uh, it doesn't pick up too much of the clicking noises in the background. Oh, there's a guy on the skate park right there. Let's see, get some of this stuff still set up where I can see volumes and stuff. Oh, I have a sunroof. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright. Still trying to get everything. Are you kidding me? Is it... They're on now. I swear. I'm trying to get my chair just right. While we're trying to get through all of this. don't appreciate the game already giving me a ticket for headlights at like 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay, A resets. Ah, uh, there's my engine brakes. I was trying to remember where all my buttons were. That gets me back to neutral. Okay. Gotta remember all my buttons. Let's see why. Oh. No, 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 no. Attach. Y'all can honk at me all you want. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Trying to learn all my buttons again.
Are we picking this up at Namek or Sell Goods? It looks like Namek. Let's see, cargo market. Yep. Tyler, Texas, take that job. Where do we load at? Sometimes trying to find where these are loaded are the worst. You want me to load there? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get this thing loaded up. Hopefully nothing stupid happens. Get back in the groove of this real nice and easy. Stop telling me to skip. I don't want to skip the loading. I just want to know where I need to go. It doesn't take them too long to load this dynamite. All right, let's hit the road. To Tyler, Texas, 12 hours to go. I didn't even look. We're already starting off great. Already starting off great. All right, so we are going to be able to see lots of Texas today. We should go. Let's look at the map. Let's see exactly where this is going to take us through. Oh, let's get rid of that. Uh, we're going to take I-25 to 84 down to I-40. I-40 is going to take us straight through Amarillo down to 287, through Wichita Falls down to I-35 to through Fort Worth, so we'll miss Dallas, uh, to I-20, and I-20 straight to Tyler. So we're going to be straight down Route 66 for a little bit, and um, yeah, hopefully one day they'll have like the Route 66 like go from one end to the other. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so we get to go through Amarillo, Wichita Falls, Fort Worth, and then end up in Tyler. We'll see a lot of... Uh, We'll see, see some landmarks along the way. Hopefully there's a Wichita Falls. Hopefully the falls are there. And hopefully like the Cadillac Ranch I believe is on here. And then a couple other things that are Amarillo-esque. Uh, Fort Worth. Uh, downtown Fort Worth is neat. Uh, Stockyards, stuff like that. I don't know how much detail we'll actually see in Fort Worth. So, And to Tyler, I've actually never been to Tyler. So, I've been to a lot of Texas. I've never been to Tyler. Let's get on the road. Anybody coming that way? Anybody coming that way? Okay, 
Okay, what was my reset? Was it A? A is my reset. Okay. All right, so I'm telling y'all my controls. B is my horn. X, I don't know what X does. I'll have to look at that up. Uh, I have a D-pad, which I can use to do that. To, oh, there's my windshield wipers. Hey, hey, hey. I'm still trying to turn off my windshield wipers. Oh. Oh, those are my lights. Okay. Hey, we're getting some income. Running lights, all lights, all lights off. Okay. Please horn. We don't know what X is. Y will detach the trailer. A resets the view. Um, there's my engine brakes there. I just had like some menus closed down weirdly on me over here. Hold up. Stop it. All right. <laughs> All right, so hopefully That, uh, that button resets my to one. But remember, we skip gears a lot unless we were super, super heavy. get on this highway and let's roll now I don't exactly know what to talk about we haven't done this in a while and I used to just kind of talk um, I do know that uh, first of all I'm super excited about being back on American Truck Simulator um, it's been a long time it's been a long time waiting for those if any of y'all have been waiting on this I'm sorry um, hopefully y'all have checked out other things of my channel. Uh, like I said, this will be season two. And we will be we'll be uh, working towards that that billion dollars or whatever we decide to get up to before we call it completely quits. Um, but yeah, it looks like they have it looks like we got some gameplay to do. We got to get all through Texas. We got to get through all Montana. We got to get through all the other states we never fully got through. Uh, there's a lot of towns we haven't visited. So, and not only do I want to visit, I, I want to try to deliver to all the towns if possible. Oh, I bet you X is my cruise control. Bet you. Let's see if I put. Yeah, that's my cruise control. I saw it pop up down there. All right, let's chill at 75. Remember, this truck is beefy. Oh, already getting off the road. So it should be an easy cruise at this point. Um. Man. 
I don't even, I don't even know. I'm just all over the world. Look at this. Look at this thing. I don't even, that, this might be the first journey of this truck. I don't even remember. I have no idea. Now this is our exit. I did that wrong, but oh well. I'm not a professional. Just a casual video game driver. Started. Oh, look at that income. Very nice, Jeff. Thank you very much. Now, I don't exactly remember what all we were doing. Um, I'll have to kind of look at all my garages and stuff like that. Um, I'll kind of do that between episodes. Um, I know we had kind of calculated exactly how much it would be to buy a garage, fully upgrade that garage, and then fill it up with trucks and drivers. Because that was kind of my goal, was to um, sit there and sit there and make sure that Uh, when we do buy stuff, it's like a full-on, like, we're just, all right, we're, we're increasing that next step. We're trying to bring in those, those, mo that much money, you know? So, we want to be able to go in and just get a bunch of people going right off the bat. Like, we're basically buying out a company, in a way. I know that was kind of my main goal in all of that. Man, 11 hours left. Hey, look, more income. 8,000. I'm going to have to keep watching that. Um, already on I-40. We'll be on I-40 for a while. So we have a nice clear turn here. Hopefully everybody lets us on. Thank you very much, people. All right, I forty it is. I think we're taking this. We're pretty since uh, Oklahoma's not done yet, and they haven't released it. So I forty is gonna looks like it stops right at. Amarillo and splits off to 287 instead of going all the way through. Um, so, well, there's some tight turns for 75. Um, so, we're pretty much on this road until I-35. Until they get the that DLC done. Maybe I shouldn't be taking these turns this tight with a bunch of dynamite in the back, but we're fine, we're fine. Uh, 
I forgot how nice having a steering wheel is on a game like this. Um, one of the games I've wanted to try with the steering wheel is SnowRunner. I played SnowRunner a long time ago uh, with a buddy of mine, and we kind of streamed it live here and there. But we always used controllers. And I never, I didn't have the steering wheel at the time, so it'd be interesting to play that with the steering wheel. Let's put that cruise control on. Let's go. We'll have to figure out where to rest. Um, we also have to be careful about resting. I don't know if we actually have enough time to do this job. We'll see. Truck's trying to pull a little bit. They need to add uh, wind physics. That'd be kind of cool to have to deal with like high winds and weather. Like, yeah, there's a little bit of like rain and stuff in the game, but like, especially driving through Texas and like New Mexico and high winds, pulling a trailer, that'd be awful definitely add a little bit of uh, what's the word uh, challenge to the game so you'd have to really watch your watch your trailer make sure it's not whipping around Oof. Dalhart Texas so hopefully um, I'm not being drowned out by the game sound. So, kind of this whole first episode of this is trying to make sure my settings are right. Uh, if I need to turn them down a little bit, I think I will, actually. Just to kind of help with that. Because I really want to make sure if I have to turn up my voice or whatever. that Because, you know, it, it's going to record everything. So, it's probably better if I have my voice quite a bit louder. I don't think we'll have to stop for gas. I think we can make the trip all the way there on one tank of gas. But I'm not 100% sure. 553 miles to go. Yeah, we'll just kind of figure it out. It's been too long since I've played this game to remember exactly everything. It's it's a little green over here. There's no way this is on the road between New Mexico and Amarillo. Some more income, 4,163, Bob S. What do we got up here? What does this say? You are now leaving New Mexico, the land of enchantment, and there is welcome to Texas. Drive friendly. Yep. Windmills and flatness. Wheat fields up north. I wonder if they have, like, cotton down by Lubbock. It's part of, uh... An exit for Adrian. Interesting. There's a video clip there. We're not gonna worry about that right now. It is our goal at some point just to like go drive around and go to all the video clips maybe we'll do one of the mods that has like an RV on it or something so we're just traveling that way uh, 
talking about mods, I haven't looked at mods for this game in forever. And also, there's been several new trucks added to the game, and if you've watched the series, you know that I've gone through every single truck that is of the game. Um, not, I haven't, I've only done two modded trucks, but we've gone through all of the all of the in-game ones, so I'm gonna have to add some videos where I buy one of those trucks. Uh, so I'll wait till we have enough to actually hire some people and stuff like that, and um, go from there. Amarillo discovered. Did I just miss the Cadillac Ranch flying by it? I think I did. Alright, Amarillo. There's definitely not this many trees in Amarillo, I can tell you that much. We don't start really getting trees until you start getting into East Texas over by DFW. Downtown, interchange to go to Lubbock, and to Dumas. They got that interchange right. That interchange looks dead on. Driven it a lot. Trying not to speed, because if I shift gears, I'm probably going to go over. Gas stations. Yeah, we just... Completely, that's a truck wash there. Um, we completely missed the Cadillac Ranch. I feel like they should have put up, like, signs or something, like, hey, over here. Oklahoma City's that way. We can't go that way. 287. Alright, so we've pretty much already made it across the panhandle, which, of what is in the game so far. That was fast. I wasn't expecting to get there that fast. Don't know what all towns are going to be on this road right here. 13,000. Thank you, Eva. I think I remember Eva being, like, one to bring in lots of money a lot of times. Now I've traveled 287 a few times. And this is definitely a road you don't speed on. A lot of state troopers, a lot of small towns. And you'll just... They'll catch you every time. Looks like that's some cotton right there. So, at some point we'll have to go find the Cadillac Ranch when we're messing around. We'll try to hit all the uh, different... Oh, look. Uh, that's a crop sprinkler right there. <clears throat> all the different landmarks of every state that's in this game. All the Easter eggs and everything. I know we've done a few here and there. Like, I believe we did the Garden of the Gods in... Albuquerque? Not Albuquerque. In, whoa, not Albuquerque. In uh, Denver, Golden area. I guess I'm changing lanes. <laughs> 
these are the big rest areas out on 287. If you're ever on 287 in Texas, make sure you check these rest areas out. They're cool looking. I haven't been inside them in forever, but they just look cool on the outside. I don't remember what they look like on the inside. I can't stay on the road, apparently. Still too many trees, I feel like, but, you know, whatever. Like, we have trees in Texas, in this part of Texas. But they're mesquite trees. They're, they're not big trees. They're more like bushes. Like, kind of like those down there. The shorter ones. That just sit on the ground. That's pretty much what covers the landscape over here. Oh, 15,000 from Arnold. Look at that. We've already almost made 100,000 and we haven't even delivered our job. Arnold's leveled up. I do believe I made everybody automatically uh, choose their own stuff now. Um, let's see if this hits us. Sweet. Thank you. Hey, there's some Longhorn. Some John Deere tractors over on the left. It's gonna slow us down. I'm assuming this is uh, Childress. here. This slows way down, huh? I'm assuming this is Childress. If we pull up the map, does it have anything marked here? No, but that goes straight down to Abilene. So yeah, this would be Childress right here. As you can see, we've started here. We've already made it to here. <laughs> this is definitely like, you cannot make it this fast. Like from here to here alone is about two hours, about three and a half, four to Wichita Falls, about five and a half to Fort Worth from just Amarillo to Fort Worth alone. Like Lubbock to Abilene, that road right there. That's, um, there's actually a, a way to go like right here, not going this way. You actually go this way. Um, but yeah, there's kind of like a, eh, 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 all the way down to I-20. Um, that's a three hour trip. <laughs> like, that's the one thing this game is not going to do justice on, is um, distance it takes. Like, El Paso is closer to, like, California than it is to Houston or something like that. Which you can kind of see that. El Paso there. San Diego's there. So, but... It's vast. but I love it here. Guess we're just gonna be stuck waiting at this light, just like real life. A little worried about sleep. Um, I have 27 hours remaining. Okay. I have to stop in four hours. Oof. I have to stop. I only have five hours till I actually make my destination, but...
it's fine, it's fine. Oh, courthouse. Oh, yeah, they're Childress. Okay. I was like, I was waiting to see, like, a sign or something. So there's no deliveries in Childress, but it's one of those random towns that they have just out and about. Kind of like Adrian back there when we first came into Texas. Get back over into the slow lane. We slowly get back up to 75. See, that right there, like looking off to the right there, that looks more correct. I don't know why there's so many trees like in the Amarillo area. It mostly just looks like that. Rest area, one mile. Um, let's just go ahead and stop and rest, reset it, and then we can do the rest of the journey from here. Just because I don't know... I don't know what the rest of this is going to look like. Roll up and park. Be courteous and not park next to that guy since there's a open slot there. All right, let's get some rest. Uh, early morning, driving. Let's make sure our lights are on this time. Looks like we'll see uh, the rest of this trip in the dark. Look at that. Look how pretty. Get them screenshots. <laughs> it's still going through on uh Still going through a lot of uh people there. So, oh, oh, pay attention, pay attention. F5, F6. So we have 13 hours to finish. Oh no, 16 hours to finish. We're only five hours away from our destination. Still playing with uh, controls a little bit. That's okay. Forward. I might have shifted a little too fast or something there. I wasn't paying attention, I was just trying to get on the highway. <laughs> Let's see, 290 miles to go. Let's 
so I don't mind doing this drive at night because um, I don't feel like we're going to be missing much. The only thing is when we do get to um, Wichita Falls, I would like to look for the waterfall, but we'll have to do that on another time. Once again, there probably is like a camera, like a like the what's it called? <clears throat> the uh, cutscenes. That'll uh, probably show like the waterfalls and stuff like that. What do we have up here? What is that? I don't know what that was. water tower head to Lawton I don't want to head to Lawton that road's probably not open yet oh I didn't know it was going to do that on me I did not know it was going to do that on me good thing that semi was far enough back it's not a big deal Wichita Falls, two out of 29 cities. Don't want to exit. Well, that's a neat church right there. Over here speeding, but I'm also just following traffic. So we made about a hundred thousand today off of uh, off of our employees, which is nice. Not bad in a twenty-four hour little go. Carry another thousand. Got some lag there. Just some load lag is all that was. Goodbye. Got the road to ourself for a little bit. Fifteen thousand from Umut or Umut. I don't know how to say his name. Umut, probably. I don't know. That guy snuck up on me. More income, three thousand. <clears throat> but as you can see, and you saw if you've seen this whole series from front to beginning, by this point, it's not hard for us to really make money. So that should just continue to get easier and easier. Um, hopefully, there's no max on employees or um, garages. Hopefully you can just keep buying and keep buying. I don't know yet. I haven't really looked into it. Hopefully you can buy every garage in the game and fill it up with uh, employees. Every garage has a set amount of employees it can have, so there technically is a limit, but hopefully the limit is not less than what's actually available in-game. And 
Looks like we're coming in on Fort Worth. to slow down. Set our cruise control so I don't speed. Because I will speed. Don't think it wants us to exit here. I think it wants us to stay on this road. Yep. We don't want to go to Abilene right now. We don't even want to go to Dallas. We're going to stay on 35W all the way through to I-20. Some big Dallas interchanges right there. DFW. DFW interchanges. <clears throat> They're crazier in Houston. It's been forever since I've been to Houston, but I remember how tall those bridges are, that's for sure. And I get, I've always, like, when I was there, was always wondering how terrifying it would be as a, in a semi-truck going over those bridges. Old Reich got us almost $3,000. I shifted too much. <laughs> Come off that curve real fast. Back up to speed. Now we should be on our last leg here, heading to uh, Tyler. Oh, I just cut that guy off, my bad. Sorry, not sorry. We should go on the south side of Dallas as well on I-20. Thirty kind of goes more through it than twenty. Twenty does go more on the south side of town, but still very much goes through town. Can we see downtown Dallas from here? I don't want to go to Waco. See downtown. I'm not looking the wrong way, am I? I should probably stop looking around and just pay attention where I'm going here. It's a big old building right there. Figured we'd see more on 20. They kind of make it look like we're not in the middle of the city, and we definitely are. Um, so it's kind of interesting. I got, at this point, I guess we're between Dallas and Tyler. Um, 
on the on the game, but still. <laughs> when you're on I-20 going through DFW, you're in, you're in the city the whole time. I didn't feel like I really got that captured, but it's all right. It's a lot to put in. Maybe they tried and it caused a lot of lag when coming up to some of these bigger cities. It's kind of like we talked when I remember going through LA the first time on this game. It was kind of like, oh, that was it, you know? So. so it's kind of just how the big cities feel right now. But maybe they'll go back and rework it, uh, make the big cities a little bit more city-like. Some sunflowers. Alright, let's see if we get inspected here. We already missed the first one. Sweet. Thank you, Texas, for not making me pull over. That guy had to pull over. Oh, we are carrying dynamite, and they're not making me pull over. That's great. <laughs> been on I-20 through this area, but I went, oh, we went straight through all the way to um, Louisiana to Shreveport. We didn't stop at anything. Didn't go to Tyler. Nothing like that. So I've never been to Tyler. Whoa, 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 whoa. My exit's closed. Why? Why y'all always got to do this to me? Now it's got to reroute me. Oh, it rerouted me so bad. you do with that oh man like I feel like if they're gonna do that there needs to be another like way close by I shouldn't have to drive 88 miles to the next. Where does this even go at this point? All the way to Longview and back. Oh my gosh. And I can't even cheat it. Because there's a concrete wall there. I'm telling you right now, that concrete wall wasn't there. Oh, 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 oh. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Nope, there's a concrete wall on the other side. Dang it! flashers because I slowed way down. There's not a concrete wall over there. Oh well. There's trees though. Just follow the law. It's 
river. Swamp land? Well, here's my turnaround anyways. It was here faster than I thought. I guess the 100 miles wasn't to the end of here. You know, the 100 miles is there and back. So, obviously, I didn't think of it like that. wasn't expecting to discover Longview as well, but here we are. All right. Now we just got to wait on the light. My favorite waiting game. Looks like we've put 800 and no 1,240 miles on this. I think that's what that says. One of these days, I'll do another. Uh, break all the laws. Doesn't matter if we get tickets or not. Kind of run. Need to hurry on this one. It was yellow when I went. Little road. So this uh, first episode is going to be a lot longer than I thought, but uh, had a little bit of a detour. <laughs> uh, it is the first episode uh, back into playing this game too, so I was just trying to find a job in Texas, and this one was pretty much the best one to take, in my opinion. Did see a lot of cities. We saw Amarillo. We did see Wichita Falls. We saw Fort Worth. We entered Dallas, but we never saw downtown Dallas, but that's fine. We'll make sure to do that at some point. Um, all the way through Tyler and even Longview. Because the turnoff at Tyler was shut down. And it looks like a lot of our guys made some decent money today. What about 120, 130 thousand dollars is what we've brought in just from the guys and girls, both of them. That guy is definitely speeding over there on that road. There's no way a frontage road is like 70 miles an hour. <laughs> Stay on the road. Stay on the road, Racy. And like I said at the beginning of this episode, this is going to be season two of Road to a Billion, but we're not starting over. We're just picking up where we left off, and this is just going to be a new playlist is all it is. Um, live, it will not be as frequent as season one, where season one was doing like three episodes a week. Um, I'm pretty much only going to do one episode a week. 
right now just because uh, we have more content going up. Fridays is going to be Star Citizen Day. Um, it'll mostly be live streams on Star Citizen just because that's not always easy to make just a uh, video content, but I might do videos here and there with that. Um, Mondays is going to be Cripple Space Program. I haven't done anything in a little bit on it, but it'll be off and on as well, just as I do stuff, as they add stuff to the game, because Kerbal Space Program 2 is still very new, very early access. Um, there's some UFOs in the sky. <laughs> and then Tuesdays are going to be uh, Sea of Thieves. Um, once again, that'll be just as we get content or live streams or whatever. Um, I have a lot of content to go through on that and edit and post, but those will be Tuesdays. And then Thursdays, we will have American Truck Simulator. Um, and it'll mostly just be one job or a couple of short jobs. And that's it. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays, have your notifications on for sure because that'll be live stream days for sure um if i feel like doing a live stream a certain day or whatever um that'll be when i do those i don't want to skip parking i just need to know where my little thing is where is it here oh I already have it like set up to where I have to back in the trailer. That's right. E. Right there. Watch your mirrors. Don't want to hit that trailer there. All right. First thing we do when we get to our destination and we know where to park. There's the parking brake. I remembered what it was. It was space bar. You get out and you look around. You go. That's where we want to park. Um, we might need to pull forward a little bit more to get this a little bit better angle to be able to back that in there. But other than that, not too many hazards here. bit of lag. Make sure I can see that. I'm gonna stop right there. And we're gonna start backing up. And if any time while you're backing up you need to just make sure because mirrors are not Mirrors will give you a reflection, but they can't always judge distance as well. So, remember, you have to get out and look around again. Like I'm about to here. We're going we're gonna to look around. We're looking good there. Honestly, we're looking pretty perfect. So, it looks like I got lots of space on either side of that. Okay. Gotta watch our front here. Now let's park this opponent into that spot. Actually, I don't know how. Okay, there's the back of it. That's what I'm looking for. Not the best. There we go. Boop. Oh. Haha. <laughs> there it is. Stop. Cut the engine. Not the best. Unload the trailer. That proficiency bonus. And we're a level 31. Beautiful. 
And we have, at level 30, that's right, I remember, we have all the hazardous cargos. We have long distance. We have high volume cargo. We have fragile cargo. We have just in time. That only leaves fuel economy. So now, our jobs start doing even better just because it's less... Um, Less money. So, real quick here at the end. Uh, garage manager. We have five out of five on all these. Okay. Shows our productivity. Why do we have a zero percent there? Maybe these. Maybe this is our last one. I don't really remember um, where our last jobs were. San Francisco, Santa Fe, that dude's got a good truck right there, that dude also, oh, that's me, haha, <laughs> he's got that Peterbilt that I used to have, okay, you can see all these people that, like, this is, like, just the plain W900 that we run, um, and then all these other ones are just different trucks that I bought that we tested out. So that's what a lot of these are. So like there's the Mac, there's a 579, there's a, six, a T680. Um, that's a mod, the K100. That's a mod. There's an international day cab. and But for the most part, this is what our people will be running is the W900s. Um truck managers i believe all of our trucks are full we don't have any um thing there a million, almost a profit of a million dollars in the last seven days and we have a hundred eighteen thousand dollar profit every day so that shows that shows our money where we're at i mean we're, we're at 25 trucks so five garages you know, and uh, if I wanted to sit here and uh, start buying garages, I mean, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. There's another, you know, million a week. One, two, three, four, five. There's another million a week. One, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? This will be a million dollars a day very easily. The largest $280,000. I already have the money to do that, but... We need to buy trucks and stuff like that. Um, I believe it was we were going to save $20 million. And when we get up to $20 million, then we're going to buy another garage and five trucks and drivers, I believe is what it was. Now, we can only borrow 500000 That's rough. It's because I don't, I never have loans. Um, so if I do Kenworth, if I do my fleet, look at that, that truck right there is only 196,000. <laughs> the ones with the black rims and everything, I like these though. 157,000 right there times five. So we'll do. One fifty eight times five plus the two eighty. Yeah, so it's it's a million dollars. So maybe it's two million dollars that I was going to save up. And then every two million dollars I can. Uh, I can buy a garage and get a fleet of trucks. Okay, so two million is where our money is when we wipe that out. Anyways, through all of that, um, that is uh, back on to season two of of wreck a truck apparently uh, season two of road to a billion and yeah 
Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you'll catch me next time. If you liked it, make sure to put a thumbs up on it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way to um, thousand subscribers. We're at 750 at the time of this release. And uh, I don't know. What else? Throw your comments down below. What you think of Texas so far? Are you playing this game? Whatever. And, uh, yeah. I guess I will catch you next time. Goodbye.